everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today I am making meat sauce, and it was requested that I share what I do. I have two green peppers in here and one white onion. I have some olive oil in the bottom, and I'm just giving it a stir. I will also add a little bit of red wine. I have some Merlot over here, just a splash. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. And I'm just gonna saute those for a while until they get soft. I have white mushrooms that I just cut into sixths or eighths. They're not halved, but they're not diced really small because I do like to see them in the sauce. I've had these vegetables in here for probably about four or five minutes. So I'm going to add the mushrooms. And next I'm going to brown the ground beef in a separate pot. I've got the ground beef in one pot and then I have the vegetables in the other. I have four cloves of garlic, two are big and then two are medium size. So about three. I have the garlic in, so I'll just give it a little stir. And now I'm going to add my sauce, and this is homemade sauce from my in-laws. And then sometimes if I need more, I'll add a little bit of water. So first I'll add a little water to get the tomato sauce down from the sides. And then I'll wait to see after the uh, meat is added how it looks. But just something small like this can just stretch your sauce a little bit further. I add some spices. So I have a few bay leaves that I'll add in. I have dried basil. It's only early April, so we don't have any basil in the garden yet, but this is basil that I uh, dried last year. And what I do is I just save the containers from the grocery store and when we're done, I fill them up with my own. So I just eyeball it and then oregano and we like a lot of flavor here. I do have some parsley that I'll add because we do have it fresh in the garden and we're still cooking away over here and I'll do some cracks of fresh ground pepper. And I will give that a stir. And once the meat is done, drain it and add it. Although I can just use a slotted spoon and pick some up and transfer it. And even if it's not fully cooked, it's okay because it will cook in the sauce because I'm going to have that on for a little while. And while that's in there, I'm going to go in the garden and see if I've got some nice fresh parsley to add. It's such a nice day to be cooking and to walk out and pick some herbs. Oh, so we have lots of nice parsley. I'm going to take a bunch. This actually never really died over the winter. Okay. I gave that a rinse and now I'm just going to pick it off with my hands and add it in. It will wilt down and just meld into that sauce. I do think that I'm going to add um, just tomato sauce and after I do that I will taste it and adjust the seasonings. Add the sauce in, give it a stir, and then give it a taste. I added some salt and pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder and then a little bit more oregano. And I think that'll be it for tonight. I make it different every time. Sometimes I put red chili flakes in, sometimes a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm cooking spaghetti squash to go with the meat sauce, so I cut a squash in half and I scooped the seeds out. I did see that there was a little bit of a bad spot, so that's why there's a few notches missing. I put salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and I put it in an oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. I cook them upside down and I find that that traps the moisture and the steam and they cook faster. And after about 20 or 25 minutes, I will check them. I'll poke them with a fork or a knife to see how they're doing. And I will flip them for the last 15 or 20 minutes. And that always seems to be a good amount of time for my squash to cook. These were in the oven for approximately, we'll say, 
38 minutes. Um, at 25 minutes, I flipped them over like this because originally they were upside down. And um, you can poke your fork through the skin and here it just shreds off that easy. And then they just look like little, little yeah, noodles. noodles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But every squash in every oven is going to be different timing. So you just watch it. But I think 30 to 40 minutes is a good gauge. And I'm just going to put those into a Pyrex dish. And we've got our spaghetti noodles. And there is my finished meat sauce. I put a little Parmesan cheese on top.